Chapter 11 Then I was given a measuring stick, and I was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar, and count the number of worshippers. But do not measure the outer courtyard, for it has been turned over to the nations. They will trample the holy city for forty-two months, and I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will be clothed in sackcloth, and will prophesy during those one thousand two hundred and sixty days. These two prophets are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire flashes from the mouths of the prophets and consumes their enemies. This is how anyone who tries to harm them must die. They have power to shut the skies so that no rain will fall for as long as they prophesy. And they have the power to turn the rivers and oceans into blood and to send every kind of plague upon the earth as often as they wish. When they complete their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them. He will conquer them and kill them, and their bodies will lie in the main street of Jerusalem, the city which is called Sodom and Egypt, the city where their Lord was crucified. And for three and a half days all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will come to stare at their bodies. No one will be allowed to bury them. All the people who belong to this world will give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them. But after three and a half days, the spirit of life from God entered them, and they stood up, and terror struck all who were staring at them. Then a loud voice shouted from heaven, Come up here! And they rose to heaven in a cloud as their enemies watched. And in the same hour there was a terrible earthquake that destroyed a tenth of the city. Seven thousand people died in that earthquake, and everyone who did not die was terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second terror is past, but look, now the third terror is coming quickly. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven, The whole world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders, sitting on their thrones before God, fell on their faces and worshipped him. And they said, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who always was. For now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry with you, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants. You will reward your prophets and your holy people, all who fear your name, from the least to the greatest. And you will destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then, in heaven, the temple of God was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed, and roared. There was a great hailstorm, and the world was shaken by a mighty earthquake.